Welcome, welcome. For this video, I'm going to review King Kong Escapes. King Kong Escapes is a 1967 Japanese-American science fiction kaiju film and is the second Toho-produced film featuring King Kong. The film was directed by Ishiro Honda with special effects by E.G. Tsuburaya. After the success of King Kong vs. Godzilla, Toho co-produced another King Kong film, only this time with the support of Rankin Bass, who are well known for making stop-motion Christmas specials like Rudolph, and it was also a tie-in to another collaboration they did with Toei Animation for the King Kong show. Now let's check out the film. The film begins with a United Nations research submarine, the Explorer, on a mission in the Java Sea. And we are introduced to the ship's nurse, Lieutenant Susan Watson, played by Linda Miller. She was well known as an American model who did both English and Japanese ads. Boy, with a good looking nurse like that on board, I wouldn't mind running a favor. Uh oh, you're cancelled, buddy. Just remember, sailor, I've got lots of castor oil in sick bay. And you too. I I yes, sir, ma'am. Lieutenant? Hashtag feminism, hashtag hashtag feminism. <laughs> Anyways, we meet the other characters like Commander Carl Nelson, played by Rhodes Reason, who did hundreds of TV roles like Perry Mason, Star Trek, and Pawn Newhart. In addition, there's Lieutenant Commander Jiro Nomura, played by Akira Takarada, who appeared in my previous review on King Kong vs. Godzilla and was in several other Godzilla films. Alright, back to the movie. Susan sees them looking at diagrams of King Kong. Well, I don't see how you can be amused by gorillas. I think they're dull. Seriously, dull? Harambe fans would disagree on that one. Nelson then explains that he spent a great deal of time researching the legendary giant ape said to live in Mondo Island. Commander Nelson, take us there for a look. Sorry, we have no time to spare. We're here to seek oil, you know. Oil? Why not let the United States handle that shit? Then we move on to the North Pole because this is a Rankin Bass film and it has to be in the North Pole. Holy shit, those elves have been doing work. You sure you didn't just build a giant toy? A toy? That's an insult. Yeah, don't this Mechanic Kong. That's my job. This is our main villain of the film. And what's his name again? Obtain Element X, Doctor Who, and you succeed. Doctor Who? <laughs> No, no, not that Doctor Who. This Doctor Who is played by Hideo Issei Amamoto, who appeared in Woody Allen's film What's Up Tiger Lily as a henchman, and he is dubbed by Paul Fries. Anyways, he shows the mysterious benefactor, Madame Piranha, his latest invention, Mechanicon, and states that Mechanicon can obtain Element X for her government. Oh, and Madame Piranha is played by Mie Hama, who also appeared in King Kong vs. Godzilla, and was the first Asian Bond girl who got to marry Bond himself in You Only Live Twice. Also, she is never called Madame Piranha in this film, and I swear that is all the trivia for this video. Anyways, Madame Piranha isn't convinced about Mechanic Kong's effectiveness, so Doctor Who demonstrates to her that her money is well spent. Like how it uses bombs for mining, and I can dig. No diamond pickaxe for this ape. That robot is extraordinary. The real Kong couldn't do what it can. <laughs> Doctor Who is surprised that his mechanic Kong could not withstand the radiation of Element X. Doctor Who tries to convince Madame Piranha to give him more time to retrieve Element X. She eventually agrees, saying she will convince her country to give him one more chance. Meanwhile, an unexpected underwater rock slide damages the explorer, forcing it to ascend and anchor near the island for repairs. And you know what they say, smoke them if you got them. Also, they are right next to Kong's Island. And the trio travel to the island in the Tesla 69 model. They land and encounter an elderly native man, and uh-oh... You know what that means. That's racist. Susan, hmm? you'd better wait here. Alone? You're safer here. That's what they all say. 
As Susan waits, Corosaurus makes his debut. Unfortunately, she can't outrun it like Bryce Dallas Howard. Susan's screams get the attention of Kong as he rests in a cave. Also, is it me or has Kong been smoking some Mondo weed? And he immediately takes an interest in Susan. Suddenly, life has a new meaning to me. There's beauty up above and things we never take notice of. You wake up and suddenly you're in love. Then we get a fight between Kong and Gorosaurus. And Gorosaurus can jump. Then Kong tries to fist Gorosaurus' throat with no luck, so he gets on top of Gorosaurus and repeatedly punches him in the head. Gorosaurus finally goes limp, and Kong stands and beats his chest victoriously. You better do what she says, Kong or feminist will cancel you. Suddenly, Gorosaurus comes back to life and bites on Kong's leg while our characters escape. Kong manages to free his leg and kills Gorosaurus the old-fashioned way. Fatality! Kong then makes his way into the sea and pursues the hover car, when suddenly a giant sea serpent surfaces and begins approaching the car. <laughs> Kong then intercepts it and begins to battle the serpent. The hover car escapes in the confusion and the trio get back on board the Explorer. Unfortunately, Kong begins to shake the Explorer. He wants us to get out there. Commander? Let me go, please. He wants me. Well, hurry up before he fucks up the ship. Susan gets above deck and tells Kong to stop shaking the ship. And Kong doesn't want to let his small wife go. Please, I don't want to go with you. <laughs> Jesus, Kong, handle with care. And he finally complies. Now get the fuck out of there. We're dropping everything and heading directly for UN headquarters in New York. Our report will create a sensation among the world's scientists. Oh. Nelson then delivers a report at the United Nations building in New York City. And we see Madame Piranha posing as a reporter. Kong was apparently gentle with Lieutenant Watson. May I ask why? Kong is a male, and uh, Miss Watson is... Well, see for yourselves, gentlemen. <laughs> Anyways, Nelson concludes the press conference and states that he plans to return to Mondo Island and the Explorer to continue observing Kong. Madame Piranha then activates a hidden communicator on her lipstick. She contacts Doctor Who and explains that Kong is confirmed to be on Mondo Island and that Susan is the key to getting him to do what they want. Doctor Who is pleased and prepares to head to Mondo Island with a fleet of helicopters to capture the real Kong and force him to dig for Element X. Love the smell of drugged ape in the morning. The elderly native approaches them and tries to stop him. Yes, yes. Kong's mine now. Doctor Who's men take Kong away like a stuffed animal and leave just in time before the explorer arrives and his crew come ashore. It looks like Kong escaped after putting up a terrific battle. Not really, he got his ass doped. Susan comes upon the dying man and the crew hear his final words. Yolo, yolo, yolo. And he invented the word yellow, truly ahead of his time. What'd they say? 
He said that an oriental skeleton, a devil with eyes like a gutter rat. That's racist. I have an idea who the kidnapper is. It must be my old friend, that international Judas, Doctor Who. Not to be mistaken with the other Doctor Whos. They are contacted by the UN and instructed to make their way to a ship docking off the coast of Japan, where they will be airlifted to a UN office in Tokyo. But they are still worried about Kong. I don't know. Do you really think we can locate Kong? Sure, we'll find him. As long as they haven't taken him to the North Pole. <laughs> Doctor Who also imprisoned Kong and sent several of his minions to post as the Japanese military and collect Carl, Jiro, and Susan so they can get Kong to collect Element X. However, the trio are suspicious about the pilots. I don't trust the pilot. And I don't think they're Japanese. Well, according to INDB, they are. Doctor Who has a hypnotic light lowered in front of Kong, which hypnotizes him, and then they attach a mind control device to his ears. Doctor Who orders Kong to dig for Element X, and Kong digs ferociously through the ice before finally reaching Element X. Kong seems unaffected by the radiation, but the devices in his ears begin to malfunction. He finally regains his free will and tears off the device and begins charging back through the tunnel. The gate is lowered in front of Kong to prevent him from escaping. Nelson, Nomura, and Susan finally arrive, and Doctor Who greets him. Ah, oh, Carl. Glad you could come. Nomura, you too. Been a long time. Too bad Nelson didn't greet him like this. You son of a bitch. Anyways, Doctor Who explains that he needs their help to get Kong to obey him. Nelson and the others refuse to help him, so Doctor Who has them taken to a prison cell. So this is Doctor Who's guest room. Yeah, it went to shit after the last season. Then, Madame Prana attempts to seduce Nelson. You know, I'm slightly confused. You take your typical Oriental Matahari. That's racist. If you'll excuse the corny cliché. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? My answer is a corny cliché. Don't judge a book according to its cover. God damn, this is cliché inception. Then shit gets real when he asks what country she is from. You're not Japanese. Chinese. Thai. Vietnam. Burma. You're getting warm, Carl. Getting too warm. So, North Korean? Because when you think about it, what other Asian country wants a radioactive element for shady purposes? Apparently, Kong can sense that his wife Fu is in danger and manages to break through the bars. Doctor Who and his men run out of the cell but leave the key to Nomura's shackles behind and Susan frees him and they reunite with Nelson. Then Doctor Who deploys Mechanic Kong to stop the real Kong, but the robot is too slow and is not waterproof, so Kong swims away. Don't you realize that you are through, Doctor? We're all through. You're a failure. Not a chance of that. Can't you use Mechanic Kong or expendable miners? Doctor Who's ship tracks down Kong to Tokyo because this is a Toho film and it has to be in Tokyo, damn it. Don't take that robot into Tokyo. If those two fight in Tokyo, thousands would get killed and you and I know it. But that's what everybody wants to see. Doctor Who sends off Mechanic Kong while Madame Piranha frees the trio. They insist that she comes with them, but she says she must stay behind. I'm so sorry my country wasn't right. Well, that's North Korea in a nutshell. Kong comes ashore in Tokyo with the military scrambling to combat him. Nelson meets with the government and tells them not to attack Kong. Who? Oh, who are you? I'm... Well, I'm out of uniform. I stole this shirt from Doctor Who. Moore and Susan make their way to the streets and Susan run towards Kong, allowing him to pick her up. Then Mechanic Kong shows up to fuck shit up. Kong sets Susan down and prepares to fight. Mechanic Kong uses the flashing light on its head to hypnotize Kong, only for Namora to shoot it out with a rifle. Oh my god, here we go! Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Mechanic Kong grabs Susan gotcha, bitch. and begins to climb the Tokyo Tower because King Kong needs to climb a tower. It's his thing. Kong, listen! Return quietly to the ship. If you don't, I'll drop the girl. Kong 
Not giving a fuck, continues scaling the tower, prompting Mechanic Kong to drop Susan. Fortunately, Kong catches her and sets her down on the observation deck before continuing to pursue Mechanic Kong. Luckily, Namora gets up to save Susan. On Doctor Who's ship, Madame Prana takes matters into her own hands and sabotages Mechanic Kong's remote controls, prompting Doctor Who to shoot her. Don't worry, she'll be back and you only live twice. Mechanic Kong stops working and plummets to the street. Okay, the trio reunite yet again while Kong celebrates his sort of victory. As day breaks, the trio and Kong pursue Doctor Who's ship before he gets away. Kong go full titanic on this bitch, and Doctor Who is being crushed to death, but he'll be back as a good guy. Kong then begins swimming off into the distance. The end. And that was King Kong Escapes. Just like with King Kong vs. Godzilla, the movie is cheesy and entertaining at the same time, and doesn't waste time into getting into the action. My favorite characters of these were Doctor Who and Madame Piranha. Doctor Who comes off as a Bond villain, which, come to think of it, I would have liked to see him and Bond duke it out. And Man Prana has more character development than the others. So overall, if you like some old school kaiju action, then check this film out. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. Stay safe out there. Goodbye. <laughs>